New at six, the prosecution and defense have rested their cases in the Benton County Capital murder trial of Mauricio Torres. This is the third time he's been on trial for murder after his last two convictions were thrown out. Five News reporter Jose, uh, Catherine Gilker rather spent the day in the courtroom and Catherine, the defense called two key witnesses. Jurors heard from Mauricio Torres and his wife, Kathy, about what they say happened the day that Isaiah died. They both have different stories of what they say happened on that day in March of 2015. As Mauricio Torres took the stand Wednesday afternoon, his attorneys asked if previous statements he made were true and he said no. Torres did admit to causing some of his son's injuries. He said he would hit Isaiah because Kathy would push him to do it. He claims he would come home from work to new injuries on Isaiah caused by Kathy. Torres detailed his account of the day Isaiah died. He says they were punishing Isaiah for making a mess by making him do up-down exercises. Torres says he grabbed a stick that Kathy spanked Isaiah with and made the boy hold it by his side. When he wasn't doing the exercises fast enough, Torres claims Kathy pushed Isaiah down. He lost his balance and fell on the stick. The stick went into his rectum, which eventually led to his death. Torres says he wanted to take Isaiah to the hospital sooner, but Kathy didn't want to. The prosecution says Torres has many different stories about what happened. They say he was the first one to tell detectives what the object was that went into Isaiah, but didn't know the stick going into his rectum would cause his death. Torres got emotional and started crying, asking the jury that why Kathy would sign her life away if she knew Mauricio did it. On the stand, Kathy Torres told jurors she was the main caretaker. She claimed she never saw any of Isaiah's injuries, even though she was with him all the time. Defense attorneys asked her why she pled guilty to the capital murder if she didn't do anything. Kathy said she pled guilty because it was what was best for her. The trial will will start again in the morning with closing statements and then the case will go to the jury. I'm live in Bentonville covering news where you live. Catherine Gilker, 5 News.